Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of adding and subtracting positive rational numbers. This is standard 5.3K in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 21 of the 2017 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a park bench, and it is located 16 and 3 quarters feet due north of an elm tree. So we are going to need a picture here. Let's, let's draw our little elm tree here. And we have a park bench, so I'm just going to put this little bench right here. And let's say it is due north, and it is exactly 16 and three quarters or 16 and three fourths feet due north of an elm tree and then we have a fountain so we've got a fountain pretend that's a fountain and it's located nine and a half feet due south of that same there we go nine and a half feet so it's not going to be a representative of the actual length is not to proportion so I'm just using a visual here nine and a half feet south so what is the distance in feet between the park bench and the fountain so I need to go from my park bench all the way down here to my fountain well it looks like I'm gonna do a little bit of a like a part part hole so I've got my my unknown here and I know what my two parts are going to be, and I can draw them a little bit better here. I've got 16 and 3 quarters there, and I've got 9 and a half there. So it looks like I'm going to be joining them or adding them. So how do we add mixed numbers? That's kind of a tricky one. Well, there's going to be two steps to it. First, let's just line it up like this. We can at least take care of our whole numbers. So 16 and 9, that's 25. The problem is going to be this right here, 3 quarters plus 1 half. So what we need to do with 3 quarters and 1 half, you cannot add or subtract fractions unless you have common denominators. You need to have a common denominator. So if we list out our fourths, and our halves, let's just list out our multiples. We need a common denominator. So we've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. And we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I just did the first five of each. Looks like that 4 is going to be my least common denominator, which is easy because my fourth is already fourth. So 3 fourths equals three-fourths simple it's this half so how do I get this half into fourths well, what I do is I say two times what is going to get me four because when we multiply we can multiply straight across adding and subtracting you need common denominators two times what makes four that's two so I'm going to multiply both top and bottom by two because two over two equals one which means we're multiplying by something that's going to keep it as an equivalent fraction. So 1 times 2 is going to be 2. So really, I've got 3 fourths and 2 fourths. So if I add up 3 fourths and 2 fourths, my answer looks like it's going to be 3 plus 2 is 5. 25 and 5 fourths, it's not there because oh, that is an improper fraction. So 5 fourths, how do we make that into a mixed number? Well, we divide up. Divide 4 into 5. Divide denominator into your numerator. 4 goes into 5 one time. That's my whole number. And there's 1 left over. That's my numerator. Fraction stays the same. So really, it's 25. And then I've got this 1 and 1 fourth. That's what that 5 fourths equaled. So it's 25 and then 1 and 1 fourth after that. Well, let's combine this 25 and 1. That's going to make 26 and one fourth that was a lot of work but my answer is going to be a